Hi scholars, today in math we're learning about volume. Another name for volume is capacity. Volume or capacity is the amount a container can hold inside. What is the volume of this glass? How much water can it hold inside? Or this jar? We're going to explore volume or capacity today by using different containers and pouring fruity pebbles to see how much they can hold inside. I'm gonna start with this jar. It's a regular mason jar. Do you think this mason jar can hold all of these fruity pebbles inside? Let's find out. Now I have to pour very carefully to make sure not to spill any fruity pebbles. Wow, look at how the fruity pebbles are taking the shape of the jar. Look at that! The jar perfectly holds all of the fruity pebbles inside. The volume of this jar is the same as the amount of fruity pebbles. Now I'm going to pour these fruity pebbles into this glass. But first, I like to record my work so I can remember later what the fruity pebbles in the jar looks like. And they perfectly hold inside all of the fruity pebbles. So on my recording sheet, I'm showing that the jar is filled when we put the fruity pebbles inside. Now, let's take the fruity pebbles and pour them into this tall glass. We learned about shorter and taller. Point to the container that is shorter. Now point to the container that is taller Yes, this glass is much taller than this glass. I wonder what that means for its volume. Let's find out. Whoa! The fruity pebbles again are taking the shape of this tall glass. But, hmm, the fruity pebbles did not make it all the way to the top of the glass. There's still some space left. What do you think that means about the volume of this glass? The fruity pebbles look taller than they did in this glass. The volume of this glass must be more than the volume of this glass because it can hold more fruity pebbles than this one. Now I'm going to put that on my recording sheet. That in the tall glass, the fruity pebbles still had some space left to go. Now I'm going to put them back into the jar. Since the jar perfectly holds all of the fruity pebbles, I'm going to make it my measuring cup. Now I'm going to pour it into this glass, which is round, especially at the bottom. I wonder what that means about the volume. What do you think will happen when I pour the fruity pebbles into this container? Let's find out. Also, the top, the rim, is a little bit smaller than the top of this jar. Hmm. Whoa, the fruity pebbles look round like the glass. This glass also holds the same amount of fruity pebbles as this one. So the volume of this glass is the same as the volume of the jar because they can hold the same amount inside. Now you know I've got to put that on my recording sheet. I'm going to draw that the fruity pebbles filled up the round glass. The round glass can hold all of the fruity pebbles. Now last, before I do my last container, I wanna put these fallen fruity pebbles back inside because I wanna make sure I'm using the same amount each time so I get the same results. Let's put the fruity pebbles back in our measuring jar and measuring cup. Get these 
these swaggers. And while I do, look at this jar. This jar is shorter than this jar. What do you predict will happen when I try to pour the fruity pebbles into this shorter, smaller jar? Do you think the volume is the same? Or do you think the volume will be different? All right, let's find out. I wonder if this jar can hold the same amount as this jar. Here we go. Oh no! This shorter, smaller jar definitely cannot hold as many fruity pebbles as this one. Look at how many have spilled. The volume of this jar is smaller than the volume of this jar. This jar cannot hold as many fruity pebbles. So on my recording sheet, I'm gonna draw a big mess to show that the volume of this jar is not as big as the others. The rest of the fruity pebbles could not fit inside. So now scholars, that we have put all of the different containers and how much they can hold on a recording sheet, I have some questions. And you can talk to the computer or you can talk to someone around you if there's someone there. My first question, which container looks like it had the most amount of rice? I'd say that this one looked like it had the most rice because the rice was much taller than in the other containers. But scholars, did the amount of fruity pebbles ever change? Did I use a different amount of fruity pebbles anytime? No, the fruity pebbles, the amount I used stayed the same. So even though it looked like the tall glass had more, it had the same amount as the other times. Does the shape of the containers that I used, like this tall glass, the short round glass, the jar, the short jar, did it make it seem like the amount of rice was different? Even though the amount was not different, did it make it seem like it was? Great job, scholars. Thank you for talking with me about math and volume and capacity today. I'm gonna clean up these fruity pebbles, put them in a bowl with some milk and eat them for breakfast. Bye-bye.